That sounds perfect. This is going to be sweet. So I'm with Apex Origin today, and uh, we're going to be moving a planet into the sector below me. We're going to move it 250 meters to the left and above, and then we're going to continue this process until we've got four sectors in a kind of cloverleaf arrangement. Boom. And here's the first one. I have to move yeah. it over by 250 meters. So the planet's in the sector, and now we're going to move it over slightly to make way for the next one. Uh, Come on. I am a magician. Apex is the mover of worlds. <laughs> yeah. He's like a Dalek, he can move worlds. Like Atlas, with the world on his back. Yeah, planets are 500 meters wide, so I just have to be the next one 250 meters in the opposite direction. Sweet. Do you want me to go and try and find planet number three? Sure, I'm on my way to planet two. It's going to be an ice right. planet. Fair enough. So yeah, here we are. Okay, there's the place I need to put the build block. With our designated god of planetary alignment, Apex Origin, as he uh, takes this purple machine away. People talk about planet ships. That would be nice. It'd be yeah. cool. I'm not entirely sure it'll work, so are you back at the sector ready? To not see yet. I am going to go back there now. Hang on. Okay, I'm getting a desert planet. I'm getting a. Damn yellow. I'm getting a Mars planet. No, no, it's fine. It's all good. I'm not on my end. Okay, I might actually tell people not to come here. <laughs> no, you have to quarantine this sector. This is my restarting. <laughs> Did you successfully make it through? What the? Yeah, the game crashed so out. It totally worked, mate. I just need to know where the other one went. I think we needed to move the planets further so they don't merge so much. But to yeah, be honest, it looks fine. <laughs> yeah, sort of in the middle of them. But the thing is, the purple one is currently, you know, the purple one's currently where the sand one is. I think we need to shift the purple one over. Oh yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'll you're going to make it like the Olympic ring. <laughs> yeah, it will look like the Olympic rings if we just shift it in one direction. Oh, I didn't just say that. <laughs> right, recap. Okay, so we managed to uh, get the third planet into position, and as you can see, it's uh, neatly poised just over here. So now we've got Mars, desert, and purple. Now all we need is, in fact, we could probably get ice and green uh, terrestrial in here. Yeah, I can just move these a little further away. Yeah. And this is beautiful. If I, if I know what I'm doing, I might be able to jump the next planet right into the absolute perfect position. And I'm here with Apex, and we've got planet number four, by the looks of it. I'm just zooming around the planet so people can see it. Um, can you repeat those? I totally forgot the math of saying that. Sure. Uh, 503. 58. 498. There we go. I do planets, I do trees, Atlas is paying, coming and knocking. It's beautiful. Here he comes. There's the core. Right, I'm going to head back and make sure it's all clear. Alrighty. Quarantine because of space asbestos. Indeed. And science. Um, just loading in the Mars planet, hang on. <laughs> okay, I'm just loading in everything nearby. It's just the Earth planet. Oh, I'm just looking for the purple one. I have crashed again. So wow. Is it yeah. Place? Yeah, it's it's here. It's looking pretty equidistant to be fair with the purple one. They could probably be a little bit closer unless of course you intended to put another one in the middle there. Is that what you were doing? I think it was. Um if you want to, but I can adjust them to be sort of almost in contact. Oh, that's excellent. All right. Uh so we need a nice planet then. Outstanding. 
Okay, we're back here. This is planet number five, and with Apex, and we are moving the ice planet into position. This one's going to be the easiest thing, just jump it right into the center. Oh, sweet. All right, I'm going to jump straight back there now. That purple was being smothered. <laughs> but the, it went back. That's the opposite of what you just did before. <laughs> Bit almost there. there you go. Yeah, that'll do, mate. A little bit of an overlap should be okay. Ooh, I think I can get it bang on. Really? Okay. Oh. No way. Four, all planets are 481 meters wide. <laughs> no. There's <laughs> like a one planet. block gap. <laughs> You're a pro, man. What the hell? I can make a zero block gap if you want. Oh, now you're just titillating me. <laughs> all others, so they're all touching. So if you move to that. Ah. Point. So what? The coordinate is four six is four seven nine in floating point, so that gives me everything I need to know to perfect this. Damn. So which one are you moving next? Earth. Well, ten. Earth. And then we'll have all five biomes in one sector. I wonder if I can get this one in one shot. If you can, that's that's pro. I'll be honest, I never thought I'd see this. Uh, oh crap. Yeah, we probably we're gonna we're gonna uh, move things like just we'll get we'll get the with this much precision, I'm sure we'll get the other two as well. Well hang on. He's a big I'm just ca having to get really close, but I no way. It's so, perfect to the block, mate. Nice. Unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, just landing on the desert planet. Get yeah, right, to jump it to. Look at the draw distance! That's awesome. I'm sorry, but the draw distance in this game is actually nuts. I've got all five planets loaded in, and my station, and it's all on one screen. In full. Oh, oh, yes. Perfect. Oh, wow, man. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to come back to look at that. Literally, to the block. Checking out our science. To the block? I haven't even seen the chat for a while. I wonder. I, I, they, they, it must be out by now. I think. I think they must know what we're up to. Just for the sake of the video, uh, we actually quarantined the sector and uh, told anyone that came here would get kicked. <laughs> Top secret stuff. Plus, we didn't I want to. Space is best off the science in toxic levels. That's right. Because we didn't want to, you know, merge people's ships with planets. <laughs> Remember, kids, you don't want to touch space as fast as. No, it's bad it's for your health. It's made out of dead kittens and heroin. Wow. <laughs> you heard it yeah. from Apex. <laughs> Too dark. A little bit. Oh. Yeah, the teacher is saying that. <laughs> Too dark? <laughs> Question mark. Okay, no. so we've just got the, the Mars planet is like a few blocks overlapping and then this is a done deal, Oops. man. Oh no, you haven't moved that one yet. Oh, oh boom! Look at that to the to the block. I'm really impressed with the precision today, mate. So am I. I mean, once we got the hang of it, I should pretty proud of myself too. It's so low. Wow. Just wow. I've just I've kind of this thing is like loading in so many planets at once. It's, it's the weirdest looking conglomeration of planets, but it's beautiful in its own right. It's rise. all five planet types in a single site. Yeah, they all I know touch each other perfectly as if they were built. It really is.